Hello friends, this is Sagar from SG Creation and I really apologize friends because I haven't uploaded any tutorial since very long time so as as you know that I'm really busy in my personal multiplayer project so today I got some time and uh, I I really want to finish this series as soon as possible so I'll try my best and hope you hope you understand so okay let's uh, jump into tutorial so in the last video where we left this uh, I think uh, we just make a pickup system also uh, add some ammo pickups and we add this you know uh, a muzzle flash kind of effect also and hit location effect also so today what we are going to make is very interesting thing and very useful because a lot of people don't know how to set up this kind of uh, thing so it's really a bit uh, you know a little bit too complex or uh, so people didn't you know figure out how to set up but uh, it's uh, easy to set up so uh, what we are going to uh, make is a project spawn tile you know projectile spawning from the location of the muzzle flash and go straight in the center of this you know uh, crosshair so when uh, it looks you know very realistic kind of uh, firing system so whenever you shoot your projectile go straight on uh, in the middle of the crosshair so that looks so cool also so okay let's start first you need to open your pickup master where you all uh, master BP rifle and stuff so right click make one you know uh, actor class name it projectile BP B BP okay and uh, open this I know I spell wrong okay no problem just change it project project T I L E okay open this and now you just need one spear collision we just use this pair as a reference because we need to see what's going on so this will not work this will not uh, overlap anything or damage anything because we make a separate kind of a damage system not we are not using this as def damage whenever he hits thing uh, it give you that it give that uh, AI to damage so we just make different kind of damage system we just use this as a reference so we can see what's going on here so let's <clears throat> put particle system and make make ch child okay after this you need uh, of course projectile movement it's most important thing otherwise it won't work if you forget this it won't work so click on the projectile movement and set over here uh, 12,000 is a good speed so it's a speed of your projectile just put 15,000 is a max and for uh, you know remove this gravity because we want a projectile go straight not a, you know downside of arc type of system uh, projection so it's gravity needs to be zero so it will go in the straight point so straight line so here you can set particle system and put first of all you need to down this size of 5 you know spare collision and uh, second you need to if you have a trace then you uh, if you don't you need to create one trace or you can put uh, uh, you can put this on make one you know static mesh and you know uh, scale it like like this kind of thing and uh, you can make one uh, uh, you can make one uh, material 
that kind of uh, glowing kind of material emissive material but uh, I have this trace which is free uh, come with the uh, I think uh, my back it will come with my uh, weapon pack so I use this I think it's really big I don't know why but uh, of course just reset this reset and don't reset no problem uh, what one and unset this first of all just reset this log this so it will look like this <clears throat> okay speed is really slow my camera is really slow so you can check this by refreshing this or you can make it big if you want but I leave select whatever you like there's a lot of so now open this master pickup and here we set something so first of all we need impact point where our uh, line trace hit uh, and uh, we take uh, impact from point from the hit location so so just right click and uh, vector select vector select vector then you need to pick uh, this is your hit result so if hit is true we take a and if it is not we take this you know and raise point so if our hit is true so our projectile go into the impact point and if it is not true it uh, go into the trace and position so it work fine for both cases so after this we need this skeleton mesh control C control V if you don't understand what's going on here you this is this is the get socket location so you know very well uh, every gun has sockets like I try to show you mm, this gun is a skeleton mesh and uh, it has one socket and socket name is muzzle flash and uh, it's facing in the X direction if you if it is in wrong direction so this will give you a problem so your spawn tiles you know go in wrong direction so remember this X is always in the front facing so whenever you create your custom you know uh, socket so you need to you need to uh, use this X direction if your uh, gun facing X direction you need to uh, face your muzzle flash in X direction so remember this okay after that uh, put that uh, so uh, muzzle flash or whatever uh, whatever your name is uh, socket location so you can go and find look at rotation okay find look at this sorry 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 this is not we want we just need location <laughs> not rotation okay so find look at rotation so this will give this is the starting point and uh, straighting connection and this is you know target location so wherever uh, projectile going so right click and uh, spawn spawn if I am correct spell correct spawn actor from all class so here you need to put uh, that uh, projectile this is our projectile BP and we need uh, transform make transform like this leave this scale and uh, this is our of course rotation 
and location come from here so this is our location where our spawn uh, projectile spawning from the muzzle flash socket location and it will always look fine look at rotation so whenever you rotate your gun it will definitely you know you know exactly follow your uh, gun so you just uh, remove this you know we don't need this it's just for debugging purposes so put like this so now compile and save so now when I you know pick this gun and fire so you can see perfect your and if you want I'll make this big a little bit big so your projectile goes straight in the center so it look really really nice effect but there is one problem so we need to fix it uh, whenever you create a projectile uh, you need to destroy after some some seconds so we just use life span SPN set lifespan and uh, whenever it uh, is spawning on the wall we just put 0.7 or just 7 it's very quick just 0 0.7 second after 0.7 seconds it will automatically destroy it so now it will destroy it after 0.7 seconds so it's improve your gameplay otherwise uh, whenever you hold your mouse like this uh, tons of uh, you know uh, projectile actors spawn on the world and they stay there because we don't put any you know lifespan or destroy that kind of uh, projectile actor so we need to you know destroy every time we spawn this kind of uh, projectile in the world otherwise they stay on the world so that is not good so now we fix this and everything looks good so thank you guys and hope you like it and it's really helpful I think so you now you can implement this into any gun so I, and it is very good idea to put everything into master BP so it can you know use this master for any, every type of gun you know if you have a pistol it can straight firing from the pistol location also uh, you don't need to put any different kind of codes so it will automatically fire from muzzle flat location for any type of gun so but remember you need to always make same kind of socket for every type of gun and one thing I just want to tell you if you have if you don't have any uh, skeleton meshes so for an example if you have a maybe this for example for assume you this is your you know or you know static mesh not a skeleton mesh so you can create one socket from here muzzle flash kind of okay so you just align this into your you know static mesh so then you can call this get socket location and give that name into that location so this is a quick tip if you don't have any uh, skeleton mesh so you can make uh, socket into static mesh also so thank you guys and hope you like it and uh, don't worry I'll try to quickly uh, close this series or complete this series uh, after this I am going to make um, uh, you know uh, AI and uh, uh, we gonna we going to damage that AI and set some good you know AI things into that um bot okay so hope you like it and please like subscribe and please keep tune on my channel and give me 
thumbs up and uh, subscribe my channel and uh, you can also join with me in my facebook page unreal master academy so i can help you fast if you have any problems or questions so you can join with my fb page also so thank you guys and uh, you can um, you can also uh, give me comment if you what do you uh, if you have any problem or what do you want to watch it uh, in future videos so thank you guys bye bye take care peace